National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Primetime. Known for some incredible wings and one of the league's most passionate fan bases. We're just outside of Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over them for big yardage. And maybe six points, too. Here's Tyler Bass to get this one started. And off we go from Highmark Stadium. Devin Duvernay to return it. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So here are the Jaguars taking over for the first time on offense. And bringing them out in his fourth season since arriving as the number one overall pick back in 2021, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence has had a remarkable career. Over 50 starts in high school and a winner all the way along. A national champion and three-year starter at Clemson and really a starter from day one after the first pick in the draft in Jacksonville. The key for Trevor at this level, though, is to do it season in and season out. That's what the greats before him have done. The Bradys, the Mannings, the number one picks of the past. If you want to become a great and you want to take your game to another level, you got to do it year in and year out. You know you love some of my buzzwords, kid. I know you do. And this one, this one was about Will Power. He got to rock a long way from the chains and put his teammates on his back for a heck of a run and a great try at that first down. from the 35 on second down. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And that leaves him with third and short. Hey, listen, drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. Lawrence now off the play action. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. I'll say this. Unless you're committed to going forward on fourth down, I just don't see why you throw it there. Just power it forward for half a yard and reset those chains. Then take your shots further down the field. On fourth down, it's Logan Cook on for the Jaguars to punch it away. Ooh, play didn't develop like he needed. He goes out behind the line. So now the Bills will get their turn at an opening drive of the game. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent, though, into stardom quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to, and just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen, because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with the pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. A gain of 27 yards there. And that's good for a Bills first down. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. First turn of the game for James Cook. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Oh, 
Another one for Cook. And they bring him down around the 34. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Again, it's Cook. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Call it a gain of six, and they need only two now on third down. You know, Kay, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a run play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will, and you've set yourself up for some later success. Cook trying this one up the gut. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know, I don't even know sometimes what it means to bow up, but that's exactly what the defense did. I do know this. It means stopping that offense in critical situations and forcing a fourth down. Now we'll get to see whether or not this offense wants to gamble. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 47-yarder. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that's going to get them on the scoreboard. It depends on the kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. Bass now to kick this away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Second drive coming up for the Jacksonville offense. They didn't start the game off like they wanted, Brock. Still searching for that opening first down as they take the field a second time. First and ten now from the 30. The pass ball is incomplete, but was there a reason for it? We see a flag out there. He was too far downfield at the time of the pass. Got to stay within a yard of the line. That'll back him up. Now a give to ETN running right. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Offense to the line for second down. Lawrence working from the gun. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. I really like the timing of that screen call to the perimeter. Get the ball in space to operate and turns into a nice game. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Now Lawrence on the play fake. Finding Davis. And he will score! Touchdown, Jacksonville! The Jaguars pull ahead 6-3 in the first.
I think we actually saw him call it early there, Brock. He made that throw, and then he signaled it was going to be a touchdown, like a guy calling it before his three-pointer goes through the net. Oh, you mean like Larry Legend Bird Ooh. in the three-point shooting contest in the 80s? Or maybe I like a Tyrese you... Maxey, you know, but whatever. Well, I... The kids aren't alive. I get it. And they weren't <laughs> alive in the 80s. They didn't see Larry Legend do it, but he did, and he anticipated just like the quarterback. Cam Little to try the extra points. And the kick is good. And we're going to have some extra yardage added to the kickoff on the roughing call. So they tag him for roughing the kicker. And now this kickoff is going to come from the 50. Let's see if they loft in and try to stick him deep. Cook to kick this away. And he wasn't chancing a return there, putting it out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Bills offense for their second drive of the game. And they settled for a field goal on their last series, so points are a positive, but they'll look to upgrade to a touchdown here. First and ten now from the 30. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. That finds his man, it's Keon Coleman. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And this run's limited to a minimal gain up to about the 44. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Here's Allen. Escapes the pocket. Now he takes it. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. Well, I can tell you what, that was the goal from the moment he took off. Kept his eyes locked on the chains and made sure he set them up with a new set of downs. Well done. New set of downs for him at the 38. First and ten, here's Allen. He'll get this to Samuel. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 32. Complete to Shakir. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. And he got what he could there, only to the 14. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He's got it. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. 
That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he's not going to reach the end zone. They bring him down at the one. Only a yard that time, and now it's second and goal from the one. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Back to throw now, Allen. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills hold a slim two-point lead early. Well, good luck stopping the big fella that close to the goal line, Brock. I've always thought that the distance right there is just made for tight ends to score touchdowns. Yeah, and it's not just the sport that you also love to cover in basketball. <laughs> it's all about matchups. You get near the red zone and into the end zone, matchups become critical. And when you got a dude like this that's a mismatch maker, you feed him. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. He fields it from the eight. Good looking return here, and he's got room. The tackle's made, so this drive will begin at the 34 yard line. Now the Jaguars getting set to go. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air, so expect some tighter coverage this time around. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Here's ETN to begin the drive. And he'll get it up to the 44. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. They go right back to ETN. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, Coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession. Or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. ETN gets it on the draw. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL, and so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. Here's first and 10 from the 34. ETN again. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Taken in by Kirk right side. And he officially gets them into the red zone before going out at the 20. It's a gain of 12 there. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. From the red zone now. 
Here's the throw on the out route, complete. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone, instead stopped at the two. They get 19, and now they're gonna have first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars take a field goal lead in our opening quarter. Travis Etienne, the touchdown. Nice execution to get that counter to the end zone. Maybe not the play we expected, Brock, but the play that they needed right there. I love a well-executed counter. I really do. It's like a good boxer, Kate. You set him up with a feint one way, and then you hit him with the knockout the other. Keep them from answering the bell and stopping you from reaching that end zone. On his little for the extra point. This one is up and good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Ty Johnson now to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And oh, someone stepped in, it's intercepted. Foyer O'Loughlin with the pick. Man, not even the shorter throws are safe in this one, partner. That is some aggressive coverage to be playing for picks that close to the line. Yeah, not in this league. You know, maybe Pop Warner High School, even in college, but not in this league. There is no gimmies. You have to have a sense of urgency at all times because these defenders are too good. They'll go and take it away no matter where they throw it on the field. The Jacksonville offense back on the field now. And I'm pretty sure, Brock, they hadn't even all sat down on that sideline yet to rest. And now they're right back out there with a great chance to repeat their last touchdown. And you will take that every day of the week and twice on Sundays. You don't <laughs> mind at all. You got that defense right now reeling after the touchdown. And look at where they start with the football now. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Motioning left is Thomas. First down throw, Lawrence. Cut near the goal line. And this is down all the way to the three. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. Read option, keep it to the right. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth, Kate, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. He's got it on the bootleg. That one's incomplete in the end zone. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And now it'll be third and goal. I think we're seeing why this defense likes him in coverage. He reacts so well to throws and is even more adept in breaking up those passes. So now here's third and goal. From the shotgun, Lawrence. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. And the pressure drives them backwards. 
When we think about safeties, I mean, it's, it's just right in the name, right? The safety is the last line of protection in the passing game. We don't think of them as blitzers. But, Kate, let me tell you, for a safety blitz to get home, they got to be great disguisers. They can't show that blitz early. That safety didn't, and the quarterback took the brunt of the contact. Cam Little getting the call on fourth down here to put three up for the Jaguars. This from 30 yards out. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And add three to their lead as it extends to seven. Anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score six, you only come away with three points. Not what you were looking for on the call sheet. On now is Cook to kick this away. Returning it from the four. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. And this drive, Rock, hopefully longer than that last one. They were only out there one play before they were picked off. Now, kind of a good chance right now to see how risk-averse these guys are offensively. A lot of game left. They could give the passing game a little breather and start this one on the ground. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond it looks like the 30. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Throwing here, Allen. Shakir with the grab. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. Markers reset, ball at the 37. On first down, Allen. Big catch is made, and he got the feet in too. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. Now Allen off the play action. Gets himself free. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Allen going to throw again. He completes it in traffic. And he takes it across midfield and into Jaguars territory. So now here's third and five. Again, Allen to the air. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. And that leaves them with fourth and five. I'll tell you this, Kate. That's, that's we got to be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute, both the protection and ultimately completing that ball. They certainly want that play call back. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. Now the Jaguars offense ready to take over once more. They have been automatic scoring in this quarter, and yet another opportunity to do so here.
drive starts out with a first and ten. He'll give this up the middle to ETN. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. Running left with Bigsby. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Find me an offense that won't take that type of result every snap. Good execution, a quality gain, and then move the sticks. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Here's ETN on first down. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. Lawrence now off the play action. That's complete. Here's Kirk. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge gain. It's a huge pickup on the play. And that's a Jaguar first down. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. 17-10 is our score. We'll return to Highmark Stadium in just a moment. Back for the second quarter. It's Jaguar football. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Now Lawrence. And that's incomplete. A little lucky there, too. Nearly picked off on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Lawrence working from the gun. Reel in at the seven. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They got 24 yards on the play. And that will set up first and goal. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you a fine, Kate. In the annals of football history, the best corner route runners as receivers are also the best slant runners, the best post runners because it's all about change of direction, and that was put on display right there. Trying it right side with ETN. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars take a 13-point lead. Travis ETN, the touchdown. So, Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. On his little for the extra point. The extra point is up, and it is good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. And the kickoff is into and then out of the end zone. Touchback. This drive starting from the 30. The Bills set to take over offensively. Well, their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away.
First and ten now from the 30. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They'll send their tight end right. From the 38. He'll get this to Samuel. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down throw for Allen. And he's not quite that fast. Let him just a bit too much. That's incomplete. This one misses the tight end. So it's second down coming up. You know, I love this, Kate, from an offense. Just f philosophically, stretching that secondary out with your tight end. Even still, one of the deeper targets you're going to see him get. It's a shame they couldn't quite connect. To throw again, it's Allen. Oh, this is getting ugly early. Intercepted again. Jaguars to return the interception almost to midfield before the tackle's made. Well, obviously not the cleanest game with now two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your mistakes. Okay, you strike out, you throw an interception, but you got to go get it in that next series. Got to put these interceptions behind and press forward ahead. The Jaguars, then running back Travis Etienne, trotting back out to the field. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. The Jaguars in a good starting spot for this drive. Coming up, first and ten. Inside handoff goes to Etienne. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Hey, look, any run of this size is going to wound the defense. But you get this game going right up the heart of their defense, you start to break their will and break their pride. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Now Lawrence on the play fake. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to keep it this time. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. As much as you'd like to find a completion and get the ball out of your hands, when a play breaks down, you've got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on his ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that. From the gun, ETN gets it. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. It may not show up as much on the old stat sheet, just a short little QB run, but what that does, Kate, is so important. Keeps that defense honest, and in particular, those defense alignment, those cleats in the ground, they're not just coming after you in the pocket. Now they've got to think about you as a runner as well. Here we go, second and very long. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he stopped at the 31-yard line. Hey, Kay, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. When Pete Carroll was there, if he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little out route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. Here he is on third and long. He's on the move. Oh, he's going to run for it. 
Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Cam Little now to try the Jags field goal. Ball on the right hash, the distance 43 yards. And that one is not where he needed it to be. It is off and no good. And the lead stays frozen at 14. Gosh, it didn't look like anything was wrong with that snap or hold either. He just rushed it a bit, and it winds up off the mark. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. And coming off the interception, a good chance to reestablish some momentum as they get set. Ball at the 33 for first down. Now the shotgun give to Cook. And he's taken down after a short rush at about the 36. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Play action now with Allen. That's taken in by Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds at his own 45. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. Now it's Cook. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Now might be a good spot to remind everybody, about for the thousandth time, how much better athletes these D tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now, they eat up running backs. All right, here we go. Second down. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Got a man over the middle, complete. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. And it's a nickel set from the Jags on this third down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Looking for a target. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. You got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. Sam Martin on again now to punt it away. Out to return this for the Jaguars, Devin Duverday. Nice punt here, up and angled towards the sideline. And his job's done, and it is a job well done. That punt fights deep into enemy territory, out of bounds at the seven. The Jaguars and Christian Kirk headed back onto the field. And unless the coverage adjusts to slow him down, Brock, he's going to be busy and a productive target for them throughout the rest of this contest. They're out and set, first and ten. Here's a give to ETN. And they bring him down here at about the 13-yard line. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Out of the gun, Lawrence. This is hauled in by Ingram. And he's going to be out of bounds, I think, a yard or two short of the 20 here. They get six and a first down as well. Here's Lawrence to throw. 
Able to find Strange here. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Call it feel, Kate. Call it instincts. I don't really care what you call it, but the best QBs, they can sense it. They know it when that pressure's coming, and they know how to avoid it. Keep that play alive. Extend it outside of the chaos, and go get your offense a completion. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Now we'll give. It's ETN headed left. And solid running there. Gets him forward to the 39-yard line. Give him five on that carry. Bringing up second and five. From the 39. Taken in by Kirk right side. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Third and four coming up now. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Complete beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a pickup of 26, and that's a Jaguar first down. Well, you don't normally get that type of outcome on a slant. You're just looking for a little short yard gain, but find the right type of athlete with space to work before and a perfectly placed ball after the catch. Well, it's a perfect play to break it big. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Lawrence to throw it. That one is caught left side of the field. And he's able to get this down to the 13. They managed 22 on the rip and a first down. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars stretch their lead to a three-score advantage. Wow, just fantastic work there. Tiptoeing along the back line. The concentration was there. Great catch for six. Yeah, the concentration and the body control. I don't know how these receivers do it in this day and age. There's no space to work with, yet they have such an awareness to secure it first, to tap dance the line, and go get that touchdown. On his little for the extra point. That's up and through for the point after. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. Return starts at the three. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Bills offense all set for their next drive. They're down 21 now after that last score and in need of a comeback as we work through this game. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now Allen. Into the hands of Samuel. Complete. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops.
In a good spot here, second and inches. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? They love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. First and ten, here's Allen. Quick hitter complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Options are open here. It's second and inches. From the 47. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. I think everybody on the offense was already thinking about the next play to run as they watch that short little throw to the tight end. You really don't expect to see many of those gimmies dropped. Pass didn't work on second. Let's see how that affects this third down. Davis takes it straight ahead. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. He only finds a window for two, but that's still enough for a first down. Yeah, I get it. Fans will measure a running back's merit by touchdowns, yards, the fantasy football world we live in. But as coaches and teammates, Kate, they want something a little bit more. They want to see plays like that, a guy who will always get the short yards in a critical spot like that. Cook trying this one up the gut. And they're all over him again. He's dropped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they got him tackled behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Second and ten now. Complete to Coleman. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. Third and just two to go. He's got it on the bootleg. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. You know, quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws, they'll find a drop at some point, too. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on fourth. They'll go. Allen. He finds him beyond the marker. And they can't chop to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. One of their biggest plays of the game, and it comes on a fourth down gamble. Man, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Working inside the red zone, and the Jaguars are there. He's hauled down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. I know we talk about rhythm a lot when it comes to music, but it's the same thing with the quarterback and his protection. This QB was in rhythm, but they knocked the notes out of him on that one. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. He's got it to him yet again. That is cut. It's the two-minute warning now from Highmark. The Bills trailing on the scoreboard. Got to figure out this third down here. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. 
And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills chop some of the lead off before the half. That was just gorgeous football right there. He saw the window, just had to wait for his guy to flow toward it. And that pass fit in beautifully for the touchdown. Kate, this is one of those moments where a quarterback's got to take his pre-snap read and make sure he confirms it quickly post-snap. And when he does, mm. and he's got space to fit that post in, like you said, it's a thing of beauty. Bass on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The Jaguars returning their offense and this running back to the field. And he has run rough shot over them in this opening half. Pretty sure this is the exact kind of start that he was hoping to have here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Lawrence working from the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Tight end motioning right. From the 33 on second down. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Davis there to grab it. It's a pickup of 11. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Sticking in the air with Lawrence. Wide open downfield connection made. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That's a 38-yard play for him to move the sticks. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar gun. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of throw when you throw it that deep outside the numbers that requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. The Jaguars are going to call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They'll come up first and ten. Out of the gun, Lawrence. He'll get this to ETN. Give him about 16 yards on that gain, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more in a modest game. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. 
And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars boat racing them to the halftime locker room. It's a Christian Kirk touchdown. You always tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here, running routes, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Caden. And some players, that's the world they thrive in, finding windows where windows shouldn't exist and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast, trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. On his little for the extra point. This one is up and good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. Has this at the six. Returns looking good so far. His return reaches that 34-yard line before he stopped. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen are ready to get back to work now on offense. Here's first and ten from the 34. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Tight end has it across the middle. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. Allen now on first down. The screen is set up for the running back. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Buffalo calls it second time out of the half. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second and six coming up here. Working from the gun, it's Allen. That's complete to Valdez Scantling. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Now the Bills use their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Third down, one yard to go. Allen on the play action. Sideline throw is incomplete. Should have been intercepted in all reality. Instead, fourth down coming up. You know, these third and short situations, you rep them all the time. Snap after snap, rep after rep. You're expecting man-to-man -man coverage in that down and distance, and you're expecting to execute. A time on third and short, they can't get the job done. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. They've got first and ten, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. They'll turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And that's only one yard up the middle. Got to be second down. So it's halftime, and the visiting Jaguars have played themselves to a nice little lead thus far. 
Now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. The Jags were treated to a strong first half from their franchise quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. On now is Cook to kick this away. Starting from the five. This return makes it up to the 25. The Bills ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him. This defense able to pick him off twice to highlight their performance against him. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Play action now with Allen. Coleman with the grab. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Throwing now on first down, Allen. Setting up the running back screen. And they're gonna bring him down just on the other side of midfield. It's a 13 yard play and that's enough for the first. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, Instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. On first down, Allen. He completes it in traffic. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Again, Allen to the air. That one is caught, left side of the field. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. Now here's a spot where the timing's got to be absolutely perfect, Kate, between the quarterback and the receiver. That throw is made before that receiver's ever thinking of coming out of his cut. Too early, it's incomplete, too late, and it's headed the other way. They'll come up first and ten. From the red zone now. This throw is caught. And he will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. Keon Coleman, the touchdown! So he finds his man in space, and then the wideout takes advantage. Nice finish there yeah. to take it in for six. Yeah, no question about it. We know points are always a premium in this league, and this really becomes a three- to four-point play. Right, when you don't have to settle for field goals, you could throw it underneath and your receivers do that much damage in the open field and score a touchdown, that's big time. Bass on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
Vast now to kick this away. Kickoff taken at the three. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The visitors and Trevor Lawrence set to take over on offense once again. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here. And if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Lawrence now off the play action. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. I'll tell you this, Kate. They doubled him knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. That's doing your homework. A bit surprising QB still threw it in that direction with how well the defense had that one covered. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They'll try it left with ETN. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Sideline, he's got it, and he gets the feet down, too. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. That's pretty impressive, Kate. I mean, to have the awareness, the body control, to not just secure the ball, but to keep both feet down on the sideline. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Now Lawrence down the play fake. It's incomplete. Risky throw to the sideline. They're lucky that defender didn't keep on going down the sideline there. It's going to be second down. Now it's Lawrence. Got a man, it's Thomas. And he will score, touchdown Jacksonville. The Jaguars push their lead further to start the half. Brian Thomas Jr., the touchdown. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. On his little for the extra point. The extra point is up, and it is good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. This return starts at the five. Find some space. He's past the 30. And some excellent field position awaiting them. That return up close to the 40 before he went out. The Bills are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and 10. 
Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Another one for Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there, and that leaves them with third down and five. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. I think it's safe to say that without that ball being tipped, we are looking at a big game. That's a missed opportunity to push that offense, but an even better play defensively to deny the throw. The Bills with a punt team out there. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Out now runs the Jaguars offense. And you can see in these clips quite an extensive highlight reel he's put together in what is a four-touchdown game for him already. Yeah, I think it's safe to say this guy's in the zone. I know in hoops, sometimes shooters say that hoop looks and that basket looks enormous. Right? I know on a golf course, you're thinking, man, everything is a birdie. For this guy today, four touchdowns on the ledger. He's made it look easy. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's ETN to begin the drive. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday, but doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. ETN gets it on the draw. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. You know, that's a case, Kate, defensively, where you just got to keep your eyes in the backfield and be ready if they go with that drop play. Even an extra second to react will give them room to operate. Third and a lone yard coming up. Lawrence working from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. It's a gain of four. And that's a Jaguar first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. Finding Davis. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Second and six coming up here. From the 37. Got a man over the middle, complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Takes the handoff, now to throw. That's complete, here's Kirk. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're gonna mark him at the 48. It's a four yard gain, and that's gonna get him across the marker and earn the first. A give to ETN. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. 
Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate. Right? When you make a stop like that on first down, now it's your discretion of just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. ETN again. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Bills territory. It'll be a gain of five. They still need four on third down. Out of the gun, Lawrence. He has the first over the middle. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. That's 16 on the pickup. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Design bootleg here. And it's caught. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars trying to end this before the final quarter. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. On his little for the extra point. That's up and through for the point after. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. Starting from the five. Good looking return here, and he's got room. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. Their offense returning to the field for another possession. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. When you get contributions like that out of your kickoff returner, it is such a boost to an offense. This is about showing no fear, hitting the lane hard, a determined run back, and setting your offense up with great field position. First down throw for Allen. Pass complete to Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Allen now on first down. And he's not going to escape this. The Jets drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. This is one of those cases, Kate, where basketball and football blend together. You know, great zone defenses in basketball. You think about them through the years. They trust one another. They know where they are as defenders on that court. Same thing in coverage. When you trust one another, when you communicate, 
Good things happen just like that. You suffocate a pocket because there's nowhere for the quarterback to go. Trying again, following the set. Cook calls it in. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business, both toting the ball as a runner and, really importantly, as a check-down outlet on short throws. Allen on third down. He'll get this to Samuel. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Ball at the 33 for first down. Receiver in motion going left. First and 10, here's Allen. Couldn't connect right side, it's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Play action now. Allen. And that's incomplete, and he's happy to have that one fall compared to, well, the alternative. Looked like it was going to be picked there. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. No connection on the last play, and out third down. To throw again, it's Allen. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. Impressive play, but they are well shy of the first down. Well, that one came with a high degree of difficulty. Had to balance focusing on the catch, and keeping those feet in bounds. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. He was good on his first attempt, and a second from a little over 45 here. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that lowers the gap to 25 points. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hold, and he puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. Bass now to kick this away. His return starts at the five. Man, he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The visitors headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Lawrence now off the play action. To the left sideline, complete. Give him a full 40 on the play. And that's a Jaguar first down. Well, that's sure one way to take the lid off a of defense. Great work to find the biggest hole in the coverage, and more importantly, go exploit it. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Davis there to grab it. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. He did such a good job, and not just hitting him in a window on that slant, in the right window, but hitting him right in time, right in a spot where he had room to run and add on to that catch. Mm, 
And that throw behind his intended target. Looking for his wide receiver there. So that brings up second down. Sticking to the air with Lawrence. Got it. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. That one goes for 15. And now they're going to have first and goal. You know, Brock, I'm going to admit a little bit of surprise here. As pass-heavy as this league has become, that this record isn't at least challenged a little more often. But finally, just like that, someone has conquered it. And now, Kate, now there is a new single game. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. The Jaguars keeping the pedal floored and adding six more. Travis Etienne, the touchdown. His third of the game on the ground. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. In baseball, it's three strikes and you're out. I know you experience that a lot. But on the gridiron, you're feeling pretty happy, right? If you can strike the end zone three times in one game. Yeah, I'd rather go hockey and soccer. That's just the positive guy <laughs> in me. They call that a hat trick. It's worth celebrating. You. And yeah, they should celebrate this effort. This one is up and good. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Cook to kick this away. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return of the 27. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And the first half scoring has continued so far in this second half as they try to keep the pace. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He's throwing deep to the left side. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. You know, he's not going to be happy the catch was almost made, but he's going to be thrilled that he broke it up. Gives him a chance to do a little drawing after the play. Let that other guy know. He just roughed him up and lost a big catch. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Third and just two to go. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of a defense. And third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in a fourth downs instead. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. This offense and their quarterback making their way back out there, ready to take over once again. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First and ten, it's Lawrence. 
And that catch is made down the right sideline. Great effort there. They managed 22 on the rip and a first down. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. One play in, and this drive is already in enemy territory. On first and ten, here's Lawrence. That's taken in by ETN. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's a Jaguar first down. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get him the ball. Right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. First down, ball at the 36. Now give this up the middle to ETN. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he put some nice toppings on it. A play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very plain play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Lawrence in the pistol. ETN on the catch. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. <laughs> he was doing all he could to find a completion down the field, but they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. All right, it's a nickel set for the Bills. Third down. Four snap to his right. He's running for it. And he's going to be out of bounds. Looks like a yard or two short of the 25. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. That's one of those occasions when you're sitting in the pocket and you're just looking for that escape valve. And then when you get it, you get space to run and you get a first down, that's a big bonus for the quarterback. First down throw, Lawrence. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence. Throw wheeled in by Thomas. And he's going to end up out of bounds, which will end our third quarter. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. The Jaguars have it as we start this fourth quarter. And they can probably go on cruise control pretty soon with that lead. All plays on the table here for third and three. Trying it right side with ETN. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Call it no gain that time. So now they face a fourth and four. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. Cam Little getting the call on fourth down here to put three up for the Jaguars. From 37 yards in the right hash. It's no good. Oh, his aim was up on that shorty, Brock, and it hits the right upright. And looking at the scoreboard, Brock, I think they can weather the miss there. Something I would have never said 20 years ago, Kate, when I started this business, but it rattles through my big old noggin now. That miss... Really has an effect on fantasy football owners more than anybody else. Imagine the poor soul somewhere, anywhere, who ends up losing in fantasy this week specifically because of that miss. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Allen looking to throw. 
Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Second and three now. From the 34. Pass complete to Cook. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Simply part of the job description for any running back in today's game. You're out there, you're going to be one of your quarterback's most important safety valves. And you've got to be ready for that check down at all times. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And he'll get it up to the 44. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Allen going to throw again. Big catch made, and he got both feet in. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Ball on the 45, first and 10. To the air again, Allen. Shakir with the grab. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, Allen. Connection made to Shakir. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Shakir sent in motion left. First down from the red zone. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Looking for Keon Coleman that time. And it's going to be second down. Hey, uh, Mr. Quarterback down there, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. QB super fortunate that ball wasn't picked. An incompletion, still pretty good for the defense, too. Again, Allen to the air. He brings it in. And it looks like he went out of bounds right at that seven-yard line. Jaguars with an extra defensive back out there. Third down. To throw again, it's Allen. That's caught for the first. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills making the scoreboard look a touch better. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah, because <laughs> they want to put a touchdown on the board. Bass on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Bass now to kick this away. 
That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The offense being led back out by its quarterback as they get geared up for their next possession. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Up the middle they go with Bigsby. And they'll surrender just a lone yard. That brings up second down. Lawrence now off the play action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he got free. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. That's a really good job by the defense right there. Doing something I hear all the time in coaches' meetings. I want to keep that quarterback in the box. I want to put a fence around him. Don't want to let him get out and make a big play breaking the pocket. Throwing his Lawrence on third down. To the left sideline, complete. And he's able to move it past the 45 before going out. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. Here's Etienne on first down. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's a Jaguar first down. They go right back to ETN. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. To be a stud back in this league, it takes more than just checking the athletic boxes. There's an IQ, a feel, a patience and craftiness required, along with just tremendous vision. He showed all of it navigating that run up the middle. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Reeled in at the seven. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They pick up 20 yards there. And that gives them first and goal. A tight end in motion now. They'll run, ETN. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. They're lining up on the doorstep, second and goal from inside the one. One more time with ETN. And he's in for the touchdown. The Jaguars continue piling it on here in the fourth. Travis ETN, the touchdown. His fourth total score of the game. Far from the first time we've broken down one of his touchdowns in this game, partner. But, man, they seem to get more impressive every time. And I don't care, Kate, if they're all one-yard plungers, if you're up over 300 yards. A four-touchdown game will forever, forever live among your greatest career yep. highlights. You can go several games without even scoring one. So to get four in one contest, you'll never, ever forget it. The extra point is up, and it is good. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
On now is Cook to kick this away. Return coming from the six. They'll bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. Another drive coming up for this offense. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. First and ten now from the 30. From the shotgun, it's Allen. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Second and three now. Shakir in motion right. Second and three. Connection made to Coleman. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. He had to pick up a 14 yards as the chains reset. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. He's got and the Jaguars are there. He's all down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. My goodness, was that some kind of speed off the edge? There's only a handful of tackles in this league that have the lateral movement to stay in front of an end like that. It may be time for this quarterback to start mixing up his cadence, his count, certainly making sure this defensive end can't get off the way that he has. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Motioning him from the slot right. Another try following the sack. And that one looked like an interception for a second. Instead, it's incomplete. Defender couldn't hang on to it. Third down coming up. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Allen on the play action. Oh, brother, it's another interception. And the Jaguars bring the interception back beyond the 40 before the tackle is made. There's some serious self-scouting going on right now. What is this quarterback not seeing that has led to these three interceptions in just this game? And then overall, what is this offense doing that has this defense clued in coverage-wise to every route combination they're trying to throw? The visitors and Gabe Davis ready to go to work again offensively. They all try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. The Jaguars in a good starting spot for this drive. Coming up, first and ten. They give up the gut to Bigsby. In the middle holds, they don't get anything on the run. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. On second down, it's ETN. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. Now Lawrence on the play fake. He puts some juice on a deep throw down the middle. 
Defense doubled him, knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. A bit surprising. Quarterback still threw in that direction with how well that defense had that play covered. The Jaguars in a punt formation. And this will be his second effort of the contest. And this one's away and looking good. Nice angle on this one, headed towards the sideline. This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. Ball at the 33 for first down. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Complete to Shakir. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Working from the gun. It's Allen. Cook calls it in. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Give him three on that game. And that's good for a Bills first down. It's one thing as a running back to move those chains on the ground. Well, that's what you get paid for. You want to get paid a little bit more? Move those chains as a receiver as he just did. First and ten, here's Allen. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's good for a Bills first down. Kate, I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate you've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers. It's awesome with tight ends. But when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. Complete to Coleman. And he's taken down at the 30. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Now Allen off the play action. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Man, that ball looked good out of his hands. It just couldn't get through the defense cleanly. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Allen going to throw again. He'll get this to Samuel. And that will not be enough for a first down. Third down, one yard to go. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he gets this forward to the 19. Pickup of two here. And that's good for a Bills first down. Calm, cool, collected from this offense. Love to see it. No tunnel vision on what down it was. Just focused on executing the play in front of them. The drive picks up here, first and 10. Play action now, Allen. Catch made right side by Coleman. And he gets a gain of nine, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one.
Throwing here, Allen. Ooh, incomplete there on second down, but boy, a risky throw on a check down of all things. Nearly picked off and headed the other way. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. Allen throw on third and one. Intercepted in the end zone. You know, Kate, one of the tenets of the West Coast system that I was fortunate to play in, touchdown to check down. Touchdown to check down. You get in the red zone, it's touchdown to check down. You can't put the ball in harm's way. That's a brilliant job by the defense with their coverage, baiting the quarterback into the throw. But you got to sail that one into the stands. Touchdown or check down. You can't possibly give an interception in that situation. This offense headed out as we get a look at their running back. And they should just be able to kneel out what time remains. There's three timeouts defensively still available, but using him is not going to alter this outcome. They're out and set. First and ten. Counter game to ETN. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know, because I've been around this league a long time, runs like that, they're really hard to come by. It takes everybody, and maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. First down, and they go right back to him. And he'll do what he can. That carry gets to the 35-yard line. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. From the gun, ETN gets it. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They push it forward for a yard, and that brings up third and eight. So the Jaguars, the visitors in this one, but they take home the win. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So for Brock Heward and all of our crew, I'm Kate Scott wrapping up another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jaguars as we say so long from Buffalo.